So today, guys, we are covering a story about three Bradford men, along with one other, have been found guilty of killing a teenager by stabbing him 14 times in a tragic case of mistaken identity. Carl Belinga, 20, of Brendan Walk in Homewood. Carl Sanogi, 19, of Beerley House. Avenue in Beerley. And Paul M. Boissy, 19, of Walpole Road in Huddersfield. Murdered 17-year-old Trust Gangata in Armley, Leeds in March. Brandon Paradzai, 20, of Coleshill Way in Beerley, was also found guilty of manslaughter. The men first appeared in court in late March of this year. All four were convicted by a jury at Leeds Crown Court today. They have been remanded in custody to appear at Leeds Crown Court on December 18th for sentencing. Using crucial communication data from each of the defendants which showed their intent to enact retribution, as well as GPS and CCTV footage, the prosecution, working with West Yorkshire Police, was able to reconstruct the timeline of events which sadly led to Trust's death. Belinga, reeling from the earlier assault, called Paradzai and met him on Oji and Armley. They then drove to Huddersfield to pick up Mbawasa before returning to the house party to carry out their assault. Armed with large blades, the group barged into the house wearing face coverings and attacked Trust, fatally stabbing him 14 times. At 2.48am, moments after the attack, a call was made to West Yorkshire police and paramedics rushed to save Trust's life. Despite their best efforts, he could not be resuscitated and was pronounced dead at Leeds General Infirmary at 3.31am. The pathologist reported that Trust had suffered multiple stab wounds to his body, the most significant were to his chest, critically injuring one of his lungs and aorta, the main artery which carries blood from the heart. Their attack was premeditated. They returned to the address, armed with knives intent on revenge, for an incident their victim had nothing to do with. The Gangata family have conducted themselves with dignity throughout these proceedings, and our thoughts and deepest condolences remain with them. Though nothing will ever make up for this devastating loss, we hope they find solace, knowing those responsible for Trust's death will face justice. Belinga, Paradzai and Oji separately handed themselves into the police on the day of the attack, giving different accounts of what had happened, denying their level of involvement and placing blame on one other. Mbwase was arrested by West Yorkshire Police on March 20th and he answered no comment when interviewed. He later changed his account after a magistrate's court appearance, admitting to driving to the party armed with a knife, but denied his intention was to kill. Instead, he wanted to harm the perpetrator of the assault on Belinga, leaving him with scars as a reminder. It was the prosecution's case that all four men intended to kill or cause serious harm to the victim, and either carried out the attack or encouraged and assisted the others to do so. After the incident, a large police cordon was set up in the Salisbury Grove area of Armley. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned.